Hi everybody! So today's top tip is about how we can keep our sink, our draining board and our pipes nice and fresh and germ free. Okay, We're doing it eco-friendly. So I want to give a quick shout out to Jadro, Tom, Lita, Sarah, Claire, Dylan, Barrett, 50. Okay, thank you all so much for watching my videos. I'm trying to get you all in my shout outs. So what will you need for today's task? Okay, I've got an old washing up sponge with a tiny bit of washing up liquid on. Okay, and we can give our draining board a good rub down. Don't forget to do our cutlery holders as well. Give in there a nice freshen up. Okay, and your actual bowl. Give your inside of your bowl a wash, the outside, because that's where all the grease and the brine can end up building up as well, okay? You can do your taps, round the edges of your sink, all the way around, okay? What's great about washing up liquid, cuts with grease and brine, and it's eco-friendly. Don't forget, use your upcycle tough brush, your old ones, to get into all these awkward spaces and cracks and corners and edges, especially around the sink, give it a good thorough scrub to get rid of any bits that may have got stuck. Also do round here, round your plugs, underneath, don't forget these handles because that's where a lot of the grease and grime, yeah, collects. So give it a good rinse with some warm water, okay? That's it. So we need something now to help give it a bit of a shine and get rid of any bacteria. So I'm going to be using da, 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 three quarters cold water, one quarter white vinegar. Okay, white vinegar has got antibacterial properties and it helps leave a nice shine. So give everyone a good start. Don't forget those handles where we touch a lot, where a lot of bacteria builds up. All over the drainer, your board drain board, your washing up bowl, all round your sink, okay? Now, don't forget this, your cutlery tray, your cutlery holder. Okay, now you can leave them just to let the vinegar do its job. Okay, and I'm just going to wipe off the excess bubbles and vinegar and water, like so. Okay, just go over it all. Use some more hot water if you need to. And there we go. The smell of the white vinegar will go as soon as the vinegar dries. But it really is a good way to clean your sink and drain out eco-friendly. Get yourself a tea time if you want to give it a rub up, make it shiny. Okay. There we go. I like cleaning. It's a bit of exercise, isn't it? helps keep us fit, especially as you know, you're middle-aged like myself. A bit of cleaning, a bit of exercise, every bit helps. Okay, so once you've done that, we need to focus on how can we clean down the pipes without harming them. We don't want any chemicals going into the environment, into the water system, which affects environment and wildlife. So how can we do this? Eco-friendly. I love this. It's just, it makes me feel like I'm a scientist. A mug full jug, little jug of baking powder, okay? Pop it down the sink. Now, I'm gonna move you slightly forward so you can get a good look at this and pour on some white vinegar. You move these out of the way. You ready? One, two, three. Look at that. Look at that fizz. That will go down your pipes into your drain outside and give it a real good thorough clean and freshen up. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that to do its work and then I'll rinse it off. So how quick and easy was that to clean your drainer, your sink and your pipes and your drain outside eco-friendly. Okay, I hope you liked this video. If you do, give me a like, pop any comments down below and please subscribe. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Bye.